in a proper interval. All right. Let's see this. Yo, what up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Naoya, and let me just say, Happy New Year. The 2020 is over. We've survived through 2020. We all did it. Now, this is the video about my essence haul, the last cops of 2020. And I've bought two items, and let's first time travel back to 2020 and enjoy the unboxing. Welcome back to 2021. I hope you enjoy the unboxing. Um, so, two pieces. The first piece is the Hyder Ackerman trouser. Now here it is. Here's the Hyder Ackerman trouser that I unboxed and that I purchased on Essence sale. I really hope Essence can make me as an ambassador or something in the future. Anyway, so this is the Hyder Ackerman trousers. I know I just bought the Velvet Bomber, and I'm just on the wave of buying more Hyder Ackerman items. Um, but yeah, so I found this trouser on the women's sale section. Now, hear me out. If you're thinking, oh, I'm not gonna wear women's, yada, yada, yada. Shit, it's 2021. Come on, get on with the wave. Fuck the fragile masculinity. Fuck the toxic masculinity. Just wear whatever you want. Just get it. It's your money. Spend it. It doesn't matter. Okay? No more of masculinity bullshit. Alright? So, this trouser is very high-waisted. And I'm going to roll some clips from the B-roll uh, that I that my friend helped me shoot. Um, as you can see from there, uh, it is very high-waisted. It comes up all the way above my belly button well almost touching my rib cage basically and it's a very standard fit uh nothing super skinny uh, it's just a nice slim tapered leg uh it's got about 32 inch about 31 and a half inch inseam and you know on the side it's got the slash pocket like the usual and then on the back there's only one pocket on the right butt cheek side. Um, I don't know if this is like a woman's wear thing, but I mean, I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. It's a cool detail. And I don't know if you can see here or if it's better on the on body, uh, but the waistband is made up of a different material. It's got a bit more satiny, uh, a bit more sheen to it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I mean, just a pretty standard, simple pair of trousers. Now, moving on to the second piece, the Piaste de Resistance. 
I'm not French, so don't flame my French pronunciation. It's been chilling right here up on my shelf. But here is the Andamula Mixer uh, zip up combat boot. I think that's what it said on essence. Um, just a very nice black boot to add to my galore of black boots. Well, maybe not as much as Sanju, but you know, getting there, getting there. I'll get there someday. Anyway, um, so the first thing first, it's got a chunky heel. Um, I've compared it against my tabby boots. It's about the same height, uh, but it looks chunky just because, you know, it's got more surface area. Um, the other detail I like is the diagonal toe box. Uh, it's got a stitching with a, another piece of leather on top of it. Um, I've worn this a couple times as so you can tell from the greasing. Um, it is very comfortable. It bends right along the toe box, along this diagonal line. Uh, it's really nice. And you know, just a black, simple black buffed calf leather. And then on the sole is the rug sole, which was already attached to the shoe itself. Um, this was very nice just because when I was outside, um, it's been snowing and this was gripping up very nicely. Uh, I didn't feel like I was going to slip and fall at all. Um, the shaft, pause, uh, is quite tight. I want to say it's about the same, if not a, just a tad looser than my um, my Wyatt's, uh, but it comes up quite high. I would say about mid calf, and yeah, just a nice black boot to add to my collection. The first piece ever from Andy. I think by the time I upload this, there still might be some essence sale left. Um, I know it usually ends like the first week or the second week of January. So if you've been looking at something, if you've had it on the wish list, I would rec definitely recommend going and get it from them uh, before the sale ends, just because SNCL is usually great with their pricing. Uh, you can get it for pretty cheap. And yeah, so do it or save up for the summer sale. You never know. Um, I know last year the sale, the summer sale came a little earlier than usual, so I don't know. We might get it sometime June, July this year. Yeah, we'll see. Well, I hope you enjoyed the unboxing and the on body uh, of these pieces. My last cops of 2020. And like I said in my last video, I want to be uploading a lot more here, more consistently, and trying to expand my YouTube audience. We'll see with that. Um, thanks to the 335 people or so who have subscribed to at this point, uh, it's insane um, that there's 335 people already subbed and are willing to watch my content. I'm just starting out, you know, so. It'll be awkward, weird, all that stuff, but I hope to get more comfortable, produce more content. Um, I want to be making, you know, obviously the fashion content, but I want to expand into talking about design, art, uh, maybe something else. I mean, I like cooking, so it might be something in the works. Um, but yeah, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please do. Some thumbs up this uh, video and leave a comment of what you want to see, what you think of what I've bought, and uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace.